Transcribed. From New York, we bring you the FBI in peace and war. But first, partly transcribed. What should you don't do? Don't miss Green's big one cent sale. What should you do? Do do go to your store today. You'll get a regular 25 cent size bottle of new Dream shampoo for just one cent when you buy another 25 cent size bottle at regular price. Now, friends, this one cent sale is your chance to discover new Dream, the shampoo that conditions your hair as it cleans, conditions it to natural softness and sheen. So don't just wash your hair, condition it with new Dream. What should you do? Do condition your hair with Dream shampoo. Take advantage of Dream's one cent sale. The offer is limited, so get new Dream today. The FBI in Peace and War, brought to you by Lava Soap. <laughs> Nothing on earth cleans dirty hands faster, cleaner, yet more gently than amazing Lava Soap. That's L A V A. L A V A. L A. Another great story based on Frederick L. Collins' copyrighted book, The FBI in Peace and War. Drama, thrills, action. Tonight's story, The Crack-Up. Over our shoot. Hey, Joe Harry. Brought you a cup of coffee. Oh, you. Why didn't you say so? Why do you have to creep up on a guy like that? What time is it? Ten thirty, Joe. Want me to pull up the shades? Nice morning. Never mind the shades. Just give me the coffee. Here you are. All right, all right. I said give it to me. Your hands shaking. Nothing shaking. Give me the coffee. What are you standing here for, Peter? Go on, get out of here! What's the matter with him? I don't know. He must have thought I was a cop or something. Uh-huh. Nicky was shaking like a leaf. He couldn't hardly hold the coffee cup. Yeah, I know. I don't like it. I never saw him like this before. He didn't look close. He was that way before we pulled this job. That's why we lost it up. Oh, no, Nick, I don't... That's why we lost up the job, I'm telling you. It was just bad luck. Bad luck, nothing. He was supposed to lay out a getaway, wasn't he? You thought he had it all fixed. Stella thought so. Charlie Lopez thought so. His memory's slipping, that's what. He doesn't think about anything but himself. Want to play a hand of gin? No, thanks. I think... You had that radio on two minutes ago. Let it alone. Well, I thought maybe... Will you stop jumping... You're getting as bad as him. I'm sorry. I only... Well, well, don't. Charlie and Stella will get here all right. It's been 48 hours, Nick. All right, all right. They got to lay low, that's all. The cops are watching all of these back roads. They'll turn up. All right. Sit down. Read the comics or something. Don't feel like reading. Nick, you think he'll snap out of this? No. But maybe if he laid off the bottle like he, he said... hasn't touched a drink in six months. He just tells you he's been drinking to cover up that shaker. Yeah, but maybe... He's slipping, Harry. I've been watching him a long time. His nerve is shot. He doesn't think straight anymore. Well, what... What are we going to do about it, Nick? I don't know. We'll wait till Charlie and Stella get here. Think we ought to call Doc Carson? A doc couldn't fix what Joe's got. Nobody could fix that. We'll wait till Charlie and Stella get here. Then we'll figure out what to do. <laughs> Immediate. FBI requests continuation of search parties, wooded areas, vicinity of Hartsdale. Hold up mob believes separated after abandonment of getaway car. Repeat description of four men, one woman as follows. Yeah, who is it? Open up, Harry. It's me and Stella. Harry, it's me, Charlie Lopez, Open Creek. Then what happened? 
happened, Charlie? Well, after we see the state troopers car pull up at the yard, we took out of the barn plenty fast. Want a drink, Stella? Yeah, I could use one. And? And after that, we stay in the woods all the time. Don't ask him how we got here. We don't know. No road map, nothing to eat. Every town loaded with state troopers. Believe me, this time yesterday, I figured us two very dead pigeons. If it hadn't been for Stella's got a bar of chocolate in her purse. Oh, uh, Charlie? Uh, Stella? I see you two made it, all right? Yeah, we made it, Joe. No thanks to you. Harry, take Stella out in the kitchen, fix her some coffee. She looks kind of beat. Never mind the coffee. I'll drink this. That stuff's no good for you. Did you get rid of the uniforms like I told you, Charlie? No, I gave them to a couple of hungry cops. I'm asking an important question, Charlie. Who are you to ask anybody questions? You got to know that. He got rid of the uniforms. Let go of me, Joe. I don't want trouble. Let go, Joe. Joe. Come on, answer him, Charlie. Yeah, we got rid of the uniforms. Okay. As soon as the heat dies down, I'll get in touch with Sid Gordon. We'll get out of this place. The way I figure we Maybe we had enough of your kind of figuring, Joe. Charlie. Lay off, will you, Charlie? Let him go ahead. Pour the drink, will you, Nick? Say it, Charlie. Ah, forget it. I'm running this organization. I'm giving the orders. Nobody works with me. It's going to beat behind my back. That goes for all of you. All right, Charlie, speak up. I'm tired, Joe. I got to get a long sleep. Then we'll talk. All right. Anybody else got anything to say? Uh, bring me what's left in that bottle, Harry. I'll be in my room. Hey, you see him? He was shaking all over. Yeah, we see him. It's getting worse, huh, Nick? Every day. You ought not talk back to him, Charlie. It just stirs him up. It does, huh? Sure. You keep that up and someday... You... It comes to a showdown. It could. Okay. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Maybe we need a new kind of brains to get us out of here. Maybe a showdown is a very good idea. In a spot like this. K State Police, Chief Palmer speaking. Chief, uh, Stevenson Kovac reporting in. We're calling from the Hartsdale Drugstore. A couple of kids down here just found three bank guards' uniforms under a culvert on the Lime Hill Passway. Okay, Stevens, you and Kovac, come on in. Three uniforms, huh? Yeah. Now come in right away. And good work, Stevens. This looks real hot. Come in, Stevens. I just want to ask you one more question on those bank guard uniforms. You've met Agent Shepard and Agent Bailey of the FBI. Oh, yes, sir. Hello, Mr. Shepard, Mr. Bailey. How's it going? Still knocking our brains out, Sergeant. Tough case, all right. You're telling us. Sergeant. Yeah, Chief? We've all looked over the uniforms, and we're sure they were the ones used on the holdup. What we want now is the exact spot they were found. Uh, you mark it for us on this map? Oh, yes, sir. Now, let's see. It's this spot here. And the river goes under the passway. Mm-hmm. Kids were playing around the bridge here, and they found the uniforms underneath. Okay, Stevens, that's all we wanted to know. Thanks a lot. Sure thing, Chief. I guess we'll be seeing you gentlemen around a while. We're afraid so, Sergeant. But I'll be in the squad room if you need me, Chief. Yeah. All right, Mr. Shepard. Here's your spot. Now, how do you want to move from here? Well, let's look at it this way, Chief. They abandoned their car at this point on Friday. Uh-huh. Now, as far as we know, they didn't commandeer another car. I think it's a safe guess that they split up at this point, since five of them would obviously be conspicuous. Yeah, that's right. Now we find the uniforms in this location 48 hours later. If our net hasn't any holes in it, they're still within this area here. All right. We've checked every restaurant, every bar, every hotel. We've checked grocery stores. If they're still out in the woods, they're pretty hungry by now. But if they're not in the woods, we might assume for the moment that they have a prearranged hideout somewhere in this 30-mile circle. If there were such a hideout, it might explain how uh, the And, uh, uh, here's the way I, I work it out on, uh, on this map. This map, uh, S- Sid Gorman comes up here with the funeral coach. Cops, cops never look inside a funeral coach. Uh, Charlie, where are you going? You better take five, Joe. You're not making much sense. Sit down, Charlie. Coming, Nick. Yeah. 
Relax a couple of minutes, Joe. You're knocking yourself out. Charlie. Yeah? You don't like my idea. Joe, that funeral coach routine was hot stuff back in 1929. Cops are smarter now. You got to do better than that, Joe. Much better. Come on. Go ahead, Joe. I'm listening. That last, that two-bit blowhard, I picked him out of the gut and taught him every trick Forget he knows. Forget it, Joe. Here. I'll finish the map. Crummy little punk. As soon as we get to Kansas City, I'm going to have him straightened out for good. I got connections in Kansas Joe, City. Joe, we're not going to Kansas City. Huh? Kansas City was five years ago, remember? Who said anything about Kansas City? What I meant was... Oh. What's the matter, Joe? Uh, not, not, not at all. I, I, I got a, a kind of the rounds in my head. A couple of aspens up your eye. Oh, here, let me see if no, I'm No, 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 don't, don't go over a minute, so. My head's going round. Give me your hands now, quick. Joe, let it go. Just let give me your hands, will you? I'll be all right. Hands down. Okay, Joe, okay, okay. Just a minute, just be all right. Look, I'll, I'll no, get no, the, no, get... no, 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 it's clear enough. Just a second. Just a second, it'll go. Just a second, Stan. A little, a little neurology, that's all. The doc, doc says, he says that nothing happens to lots of guys my age. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Sure you are, Joe. But maybe I'd better just get there. You're still working on the map, Joe. Maybe I... Peter, Harry, I'm talking with Stella. Go on, Peter. Huh? Get out and talk to Stella. Yeah, 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 I'll call you. Stella. Yeah. Stella, I, w- I wouldn't want the rest of them to know about, about this neuralgia. Mm. See, they, they need me, Stella. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want them to get me wrong ideas, you know what I mean? Stella? Yes, Joe. Yes, I know. Yeah, I they, know. they depend on me, Stella. If they thought... You don't have to explain it, Joe. I know exactly what you mean. Back to the crack up in just a moment, but first, listen. L-A-B. That's Lava, the amazing super speed soap for dirty hands. In 30 to 50 seconds, Lava gets the dirt that that ordinary wash-ups miss. Of all leading soaps, only Lava has this unique double action. First, in every inch of Lava's snowy lather, 50,000 tiny scrubbers swiftly route out deep ground-in dirt from around knuckles, fingernails, and skin crevices. Dirt ordinary wash-ups miss. Second, Lava is amazingly gentle. Lava contains the same soothing ingredient as in costly hand lotions. And that's why no ordinary soap can match Lava for quick, thorough wash-ups. Mrs. Barrett of Lansing, Michigan, an electrician's wife, says... Lava stays tall, too. When my husband washes with Lava, dirt, grease, and oil are offhand down the drain. No more smudged towels in my house. So, ladies, for yourself, Dad, and the children... Get the soap that gets the dirt. Get Lava Soap tomorrow. Remember... L-A-V-A, L-A-V-A, L-A-V-A. And now back to the FBI in Peace and War, and tonight's story, The Crack-Up. Yeah? I wouldn't want the rest of them to know about, about this neuralgia. They, they need me, still. I, I wouldn't want them to get any wrong ideas. Neuralgia, huh? Well, that's what the man says he's got. I'll tell you what he's got. Want another drink, Nick? Yeah, a short one. A yellow streak, that's what. Right up the middle of his back. Don't it? Mm-mm. You're crazy, Charlie. Just because the guy's a little sick, you... Sick? Was he sick on the Richfield job? How about that time in L.A.? 
He was sick then, too? Listen. He's through, Harry. Why kid yourself? You said baby would come to a showdown. I say this is the time. No. What? I mean... Well, you know what Joe's like. A thing like this, it could kill him. What's the matter with you, Harry? You going soft in the head? What'll it be? Him or the lot of us getting out of here with whole skin? Yeah, I know, but... What? You heard this plan. If we ever tried to leave this place in a funeral coach, we'd be needing one ourselves. And I say we settle this thing once and for all. Well, maybe Nick and Stella feel a little different about that. So maybe you better ask them and find out. Go on. Ah. Nick? Charlie's right, Harry. You can't argue. Of course you can't. Stella, what about you? Joe picked you up out of the I'm gutter and... I'm Charlie. Joe's through like he said. He's been through for a long time, kid, only he didn't know it. He's cracking up. We can't take a chance with him anymore. What's the matter now? Nothing. Harry! It's nothing, I tell you. Leave him alone, Charlie. Everyone says Joe's through, he's through. Just show us how we're going to get out of here, Charlie. Okay. Put up a chair, all of you. I'll show you how. Adams, this is... Look, this is Chief Palmer. Hello, Chief. What can I do for you? Look, I just sent two FBI agents over to your store. They'll be there any minute. They want to talk to you about that hoarding you reported out at the Wilson farm. Give them any help you can, will you? FBI, huh? Be glad to, Chief. Yes, sir. Be real glad. Well, we're very grateful to you, Mr. Adams. Not at all, son. Why, when Chief Palmer told me you was from the FBI, said I'd help him. Be glad to do it. Uh, you fellas hungry, maybe? Got some ripe store cheese here. Ah, uh, no, I... thanks, Mr. Adams. We'd just like to ask you one or two questions about that report of yours on the Wilson farm. Well, yeah, you can go right ahead and ask. I'll tell you, I had plenty of experiences with this sort of thing eight years ago. Folks used to come here to the store, buy up everything in sight. So naturally, when the same thing began to happen again last couple of weeks, I put two and two together. And you know what I figured the answer to be? Mr. Adams. Hoarding. Yes, sir, that's what I figured. Everybody knows there's only one person living out the Wilson farm. Why should I get orders that'd feed five or six? Well, uh... I'll tell you why. Hoarding. Hoarding it is. And, uh, hoarding is what I reported to the chief. <laughs> Though, uh... I do say I never expected such quick results out of Washington. This uh, hoarding, Mr. Adams, that's what we want to ask you about. Well, go right ahead and ask. I tell you, if it is left up to Mr. me... Mr. Adams. Huh? We don't believe that it's hoarding, Mr. Adams. It, you don't? Uh, son, uh, how long you been with the FBI? Twelve years. Twelve years. One person out the farm, enough orders to feed five or six scarce items, but a sugar coffee. Well, that hoarding or ain't it? We don't believe so. <laughs> oh, by golly, I'm glad we got law and order of our own around here. Uh, Mr. Adams, uh -huh. we believe it's the Joe Norton gang. The, the Norton gang? The boys that held up the First National Bank. Oh, them. <laughs> you fellas sure like to take a shot in the dark, don't you? Sometimes. How do we get out there, Mr. Adams? In the Wilson place? Uh -huh. Be glad to tell you. But uh, all you're going to find there is one little hoarder. Maybe, but we'll go anyhow. As you say, we fellas like to take a shot in the dark. Okay, Harry, let's take a look at that target, huh? Joe, listen. My hand was steady, wasn't it? Didn't shake, did it? Look at that. Look at it. Three of them, right through the middle. Is that shooting? Joe. Steady as a rock, that's what. I'm just as good as I ever was. Joe, huh? will you, for the love of Mike, stop talking and listen? Huh? Oh, sure, sure, Harry, I'm listening. Joe, it's about Charlie Lopez. Any others got together last Lopez, night? Lopez, I taught him every trick he knows. Joe! What? What, Harry? I want you to listen to me, Joe. I want you to listen careful. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening, Harry. They're going to leave you here, Joe. Charlie Lopez and the others. That Lopez. Now, I'm going to have them straightened out as soon as we get to Kansas. Joe, State. you're not getting any place. Don't you understand? They're going to leave you. What? What's that? I had to tell you, Joe. I just had to. Leave? Who's going to leave me? You're lying. No, no, Joe. Yeah, nobody's leaving me unless I say so. No, it's the truth, Joe. I swear I wish it wasn't. You're lying. You're trying to trick me. They sent you up here, Joe. Ah. Oh, hey, what's the matter? Not, nothing, nothing. You're sick, Joe. It's nothing, I tell you. Get out of here. Let me alone. 
Oh, what are you standing here for? Get out, Joe. Get out! Harry, Harry. Yeah? Don't, don't go, Harry. Sure, Joe. <laughs> this neuralgia is killing me, Harry. I know. You're a good friend. I always knew it. Go upstairs. Try to get some rest, Joe. Sleep a little. No, no, Harry, listen. Yeah. Harry. Harry, what are they going to do to me? They're going to get rid of me, aren't they? That, that Lopez, he hates me. No, that Joe. That fella, too. And after all I've been to her. Joe. You won't let them know, will you? Not you, Harry. You, you're, you're my friend. Joe, Harry. they're not going to do anything. They're leaving you here. That's all. With your share of the split. Nobody's leaving me, Harry. Not alive, they're not. What? Nobody is. I'm the brains of this outfit. Nobody walks out on Big Joe. Stop talking that way. I mean it, Harry. You'll see if I do it. Anybody wants to walk out, they can try it. I'll let him leave, Harry. I'll let him leave with a belly full of holes. You'll see if I do Anything I left out? Nothing, Charlie, except maybe so long. Yeah. Bye, Joe. Uh, nothing else? Okay. Stella, get Harry. Tell him already. You stay here, Stella. Huh? Stay huh? here. Charlie, you know what you can do with this split? Keep away from me, Joe. I'll tell you, Charlie. Here's what you can do with it. Joe. I'm running this organization. I'm giving the orders to get that me. Joe North. Take your hands off me, Joe. I told you I don't want trouble. Nobody walks out on me. That goes for all of you. Take your hands off me. Okay. Joe. I'm warning you. Lay one finger on me again and I'm going to kill you. What? I mean it, Joe. Hey. Hey, Charlie, come off it. What's the idea of talking that way? I'm warning you, that's all. Nick, you're going to let him talk that way. Nick? Stella? Oh, what's the matter with you two? You're through, Joe. We don't want any part of you. Nick? Nicky, boy. Dry up, Joe. Charlie, take me with you. No. Let me go with you, Charlie. The cops will get me sure if I stay around here. I'm sick, Charlie. Charlie, you got to take me with you. We're wasting time, Charlie. Oh, you got to. You, you, you can't leave me here. Why not? You know how to take care of yourself. You told us so often enough. All right. All right, go. All of you, go on. See how far you get with Lopez, Charlie. Go on, go. He'll have you six feet under and nothing flat. Charlie, you keep out of this, Harry. The cops are outside, Joe. What? Cops, cops, they're crawling all over the place. Harry, if this is a joke. I'm telling you, Charlie, go see for yourself. Uh, Charlie? They're out there, all right. Oh, no. A whole squad is a baby boy. What do we do, Charlie? I don't know. Let me think. we got to get out of here. I said let me think. Sure, let him. Let him use that two-bit brain. Shut up. What's Joe. there to think about? Yeah, we'll shoot our way. Uh, Charlie. We don't need a thinker now. We need a leader. Right, stuff. So we would Joe Norton. Huh? What? All of you in there. The house is entirely surrounded. This is an FBI agent speaking. FBI? I told you, Charlie. Shut up. You have exactly one minute before we open fire. Come out with your hands up. Charlie. What do we do? He'll tell you. Blowhard will tell you. Just let him think. Shut up. Shut one up. minute, all of you. Charlie. What will we do? What can we do? They got us coming and going. What? We're going out, Charlie. You got any better ideas? Why, you yellow punk, you bet we have. We're going to shoot our way out. Please, Since you... when were a few lousy cops scared the Norton gang? We'll shoot our way out. That's what we're going to do. Forget it, Joe. That's the FBI out there. We can do it. We can do it, huh, Nick? No cop's going to stop us. No, Joe. Nobody can stop us. We'll show them. That'll be like old times. Tell you take that into Nick the door. Stop him, Joe. I'll get you out of this. Don't you worry me. Joe Norton. Come on. Come on, everybody. Take your post. Harry, Charlie, remember how it was in Little Rock? Tell her, remember? We'll do, do it again. I'll fix it. I'll 30 fix your seconds, eye. Norton. You keep quiet. I kept the orders around here. Come on, Nick, come on. Stay where you are, Joe. What? Don't move, Joe. Don't move or I'll drop you, so help me. What? Well, we, we got to get to him, Charlie. Hey, we can take him. Come on, we can... Ah! Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. All of you, this is your last warning. Are you coming out? All right, don't shoot! Don't shoot! They're coming out! The 
surrender of the Joe Norton gang put an end to one of the most daring hold-up mobs in the FBI files. On recovery from the gunshot wound inflicted by Charlie Lopez, Norton was placed in a mental hospital suffering a complete breakdown. Lopez and the other members of the gang stood trial and were sentenced to long terms in prison. With the individual disposition of their cases, the books were closed on a getaway that failed because of the crack-up. Tony and the characters used in this partly transcribed program are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. This program is based on Frederick L. Collins' copyrighted book, The FBI in Peace and War, and is not an official program of the FBI. In tonight's story, Larry Haynes played the part of Joe Norton. Joe DeSantis was Charlie Lopez. The radio dramatizations for the FBI in Peace and War were written by Louis Pelletier and Jack Fink, with music under the supervision of Vladimir Selinsky. These programs are produced and directed by Betty Mandeville. And now this is Len Sterling saying good night for Lava Soap. That's L-A-V-A. L-A-V-A. Washes without red hands, the swing is back to does. Yes, for white, white washes without red hands, I'm going back to does. How about you? Are your hands suffering from one of those no rinse chemicals on wash day? Then change to does. See what it means to get white, white washes without red hands. Does can promise this because only does, of all leading wash day products, contain such great quantities of rich, real soap. Combined with two active detergents. That's why Does gets clothes so beautifully white and clean while it gives extra safety to colors and wonderful mildness on hands. Does does everything. For white, white washes without red hands, change to Does. Again, I really want to remind you to be sure to listen to next Thursday's story, The One-Way Ticket on the FBI in Peace and War. Same time, same station. This program is transcribed. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.